Hello and welcome to ID Digital Concept YouTube channel. My name is Jamila Oladili. Today, I want to be showing you five dangerous website killers you should totally avoid. It is no longer a news that you can sit down at the comfort of your room, design a website using CMS, or you can go by the way of writing codes. There are thousands and thousands of website designers out there that you can contract your design work onto. But there is something that is popular or peculiar among those website designers and there is a principle that they have to uphold if they are going to do a work that anybody in, from any part of the world we appreciate today i am going to be showing you five of those things that are needed to be done on any website project if such a website is going to be a good website these are the points that differentiates a good website from a bad website ensure that you stay to the end of this video without further ado i want to start talking about those points right now the first point is about the lack of niche have you ever been to a website before and you discover that these people are actually trying to market to you or to advertise to you things that are unrelated to what you initially searched on search engine now that might actually sound counterintuitive because search engine will not even display a result that is not related to any of your search firms but it's possible you find yourself on a website that is displaying or that talks about something that the topic does not suggest. So it's possible you have found yourself on this kind of website. And I promise you next time you are not going to get yourself on that website any longer. So if your website is being created to serve all sorts of audiences, you are actually setting yourself up for a waterloo. The truth of the matter is this, you cannot please everybody. Everybody is not your client. You have to define what your client will be like. You have to design what we call a customer avatar. What am I saying in essence? It is that there must be a definite proper target audience for your website if it is going to serve people and if people are going to be in love with your website i hope you get that let's move to the second point the second point is all about rough user interface and unpleasant user experience if i get to a website today and i discover that the aesthetic features of the website are not well pleasing to me it's possible maybe because of the love that i have for the website or because of the information contained on the website i can manage to stay on the website but you know what i'm not going to be encouraged to come back upholding a cake the science for websites in 2022 and beyond is no longer ethical and accepted for websites. Either you are a beginner website designer, an expert web designer, a veteran website designer, or a professional website designer, no matter your level of website design, always strive to make your website look nice. No one loves to visit a website that is poorly designed. Do you get the point? Let us move to the next point. The third one is this, no contacts. One of the reasons why people own their own is for them to serve a larger scope of audiences. But imagine you get to a website and you want to buy something, let's say an e-commerce website. You want to buy something and after you might have seen all your products, the products were displayed, the payment details were displayed, but you try to look for a contact, somebody you can reach on the website, maybe to make an inquiry or to ask questions, or you just want to see, is there anybody you can contact 
in case you have any issue but you look for a contact page you couldn't find it you look for phone numbers you couldn't find it you look for social media handles you couldn't find them what would you do will you still go ahead and buy on that website making payments for products and services on that website i guess your answer will be no except you are a santa claus and you want to dash the website owner some amount of money which is fine by you it's your decision you know the fourth point is responsiveness are you aware that not everyone owns a pc when i talk about pc i mean a personal computer be it a personal computer that runs on linux mac or windows a large chunk of your users will probably be mobile phone users if you are designing your website without having this large population of people in mind you might actually be setting yourself up for a big trouble if you have your website and your website is not responsive it is better to start adjusting your website now and make sure that your website is properly displayed or can be properly viewed from all sorts of screen sizes that is exactly what we mean by responsiveness another term for responsiveness here would be mobile friendliness so to leave you with this point i would say mobile responsiveness is actually an essential factor in designing a website that will enable you to serve more people and to allow a wider scope of users to use your website the fifth point is worthy or unrelated content do not rejoice that you have a lot of contents a lot of posts a lot of videos a lot of images on your website yet try and sit down ask yourself this question these content that i have on my website do they actually relate to my niche do they represent what i want to discuss on this website i hope you are not just putting up those contents on that website for putting up sake or for the sake of having much content on your website kindly streamline every content on your website according to the kind of niche that are operating on that particular website i want to assure you that having unrelated content on your website will assassinate your website i believe that such engines are not even going to favor your website if you stuff your website with unrelated or worthy content if you want to give description of things make sure you go straight to the point all right Yes, I mentioned five points, but because you stayed true on today's video, I'm going to give you one more bonus. If you are a website designer and you are planning to monetize your website, immediately you are qualified for monetization. I know that you will be excited to display advertisements on your website. But please and please display advertisements sensibly on your website. In the case of people that are stuffing their users with innumerable number of advertisements on a web page, this is a secret website killer that they are not aware of. I know that your website is business oriented and you actually want to make money from your website. It is a good thing, but kindly avoid too much advertisement on a web page the question now you may ask me is this how many advertisements should i display on a web page i'm not the right person to tell you the answer because the answer is totally dependent on the length of your page on the volume of your content on the page if you are putting 300 words on a page not going to have the same number of advertisements as someone who has 2000 words 
on his or her page. So the rule of thumb in this matter is this. Make sure that your advertisements do not overweigh the amount of your content. All right. I hope that helps you. So if you have any other point that you think can be beneficial, kindly go to the comments below and drop it. And if you have learned anything from this video, go to the comment section as well and write, I got massive value. Write it there, I got massive value. So guys, thank you very much for watching this. But before you go, ensure that you hit the subscribe button, like this video, and also hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified as soon as I upload another valuable content as this one. Before you go, if there is any topic you have in mind that you want me to give on to you to make tutorials on, do not hesitate to ask me. On this channel, I make tutorials about tech hacks, about tech tips, about tools that can help you to scale your business and to maximize your productivity in the digital world. Thank you very much. My name remains Damilari Oladele and I hope to see you in another video. Goodbye.